Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Oh, he's there. I Rise. see him. Now, it's a key difference between this game and the previous one. The previous one starts on a train, and this one starts on a tr train. Oh. Hello, City17. It's Neil Breen. My name is Neil Breen. I'm a filmmaker. Oh, you move fast when you jump. That's fun. Ah, I got him. Okay, this is thing number one tonight about Half-Life 2. They really wanted you to know that they made a physics engine for this game. But let's appreciate Val's work for a while and just watch this thing kind of spin a bit. That's riveting. I think you couldn't even push the bins in the first game and now we can spin rectangles. Bunny hop through this uh, 1984 style wasteland. That's fun. No, I want to go that way. No. Can I go that way, please? I want to go that way. Oh, fine. Go over here. Go on this train. What? No, I won't. What a twist. Looks like I'll have to go through this door. It's James Spader, except he doesn't really look like James Spader anymore. I should be paying attention to the story, but I'm more interested in this book. Can I keep this book? I'm keeping the book. I don't care what you say. Uh, put the box and do a jump. Do another jump and fall on a box. Half-Life 2. Well, we made a physics engine. Yeah, okay. That uh, joke's on you, I took the can back. I'm reclaiming the can. He's just jealous of my blue can. Oh, you need to sneak round him. Okay, I've got my blue can now. No, I wanna go in the thing. Oh, fine. Okay, record this, right? Record this. Whoop. What? Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Wee. Oh, he doesn't know what's going on. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Wee. Oh. Whoop. Oh, he got me. See what I was doing to that guy? Great. Right. Gordon Freeman, by the way. It's, that's my name. Alright, I wonder if there are any ladders around here. There are. Excellent. And in this direction now, which is right. Way oh. That was no, oh, you know what? I'm gonna do this right. I promised you a basket throwing. I'm gonna throw a basket at a policeman. Fascism was ended when Gordon Freeman lobbed a small plastic basket at a super soldier policeman. Put this baby on the swing now. Get on the swing, baby. Use this baby. Yeah. Did I throw a cinder block at the policeman? <gasps> Okay, by rights, that should have knocked him unconscious. Do cinder blocks mean nothing to these monsters? Null. No. Yeah, think about that. Excuse me, I need your briefcase. What? There we go. You, you can't tell me what to do. I'm going up the staircase of my own free will. Oh, five minutes into this game, or I'm already being shot at. Fly, birds, fly. I reckon nothing untoward is going to happen when I go down this staircase. Oh, darn it. Something untoward happened. Oh, well, let's go through this door. Oh, let's go through the opposite door. Oh, well. Well, this is the end of the video game Half-Life 2. Thank you for watching. That's it. The credits are about to roll. I'm Alex Vance. No one asked you. I'm bringing this barrel. Might need it later. No, I know the way. I want to get the barrel through. There we go. Don't rush me. I know there's a very important casting going on behind me, but I'm more interested in the cactus. It really is you, isn't it? But, yeah, whatever. Cactus. There he is. He's there. We found him. Anyway, yes, suit. I've been made mortal. This is a significant downgrade. Okay, back to the cactus shenanigans. There was a can around here. I know you get an achievement for breaking this teleporter. I'm trying to figure out exactly how. It's lucky this is like one of the best known openings in video game history, or the fact I'm not paying attention to the story at all might be something of a hindrance. Who we got here? Me, uh, long face, Hirohiko Araki cheeks man, I think. The other two scientist models. Gordon. Ugh, fine, I'll do everything around here. Oh, it's... what's her name from Star Trek? I've forgotten. Rolaren, that's that's the character's name. It was in Battlestar Galactica as well. I feel like it shouldn't be um, doing that at that, that kind of range. This seems like faulty wiring, I don't know. Eh, bash. Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. I put a thing in a wall. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. Oh, the game made that joke. Well, there's no point talking now. The game's become self-aware. And this will teleport us, and there will be no inconveniences. We'll go straight through to Eli's lab, and it won't take half the game. Oh, no inconvenience. It's Tony Todd, he's there. Look, an unresolved plot point. Ah, see, I said they had a cameo in the second game. One thing I'll give this game... It's much easier to tell where you're meant to be going than in the first game. 
usually because there's a character babbling what you're meant to do right in your ear. The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Well, whose fault is that? It's mine. It's absolutely mine. Gotta get out of here before the Dragon Zord eats those pipes. Run through this door. That's a train. Root Canal. Ah, oh, this looks like an inconvenience for Gordon Freeman. Can't leave any witnesses. Oh, okay, the NPCs are invincible and I've wasted most of my ammo. That's, uh, right, that's not gonna serve me well, frankly. Would have been worth it if, if I could have murdered you, like I could murder the scientists in the first game, but well, that's just not the kind of world we live in, is it? Now what happens when I shoot the barrels that say flammable? What do you know? Boop! Oh, I didn't jump far enough. Yes, I did. Good. And onto the thing. And up. Okay. Uh, come at ya. Uh, with my crowbar. And through you. Uh, Oh, oh, that's just moronic. Come on, guys. You should know better. Oy. Oh, my health's become a funny sex number. What a travesty of justice. Jump and jump and jump and through the thing. That door's not a real door. It's painted on. These super cops are the worst. Getting hit by trains, standing next to explosive barrels, littering. I don't know about this fascist regime, folks. Do a thing. Tony Todd! Hey! Ah! Oh! Okay. Ah! Have it! Come on. Come on, man. Shoot me. Stop trying to shoot me and shoot me. Is that from something? Probably from something. Ah. Everyone conveniently line up so I can shoot you with this gun turret. Oh! Jeez, they've got rockets now. Running along. Again, just the worst cops. Ah. Things. Oh, it's a slippy floor. That was fun. I want to got an achievement and everything. That's irrelevant. Ah, uh, he's fine. Ah, walls, my one weakness. Oh, ladders, my greatest strength. There we go. What up, bitches? Let's do a physics puzzle. That was my Facebook, folks, not yours. So was that. And is that going to do it? Yeah, that's fine. Wait, it's not fine. Uh, I finally got it. Applause, etc. You okay, guy? Yeah, he's fine. No, oh, he's oh, oh, no, no. I hate those days when you walk outside and there's an attack helicopter trying to kill you. Now they're flooding the areas up ahead with manhats. See, these are much more efficient than like guns. They're called manhacks, but they're terrible at hacking men, frankly. Anything fun through here? Yes, a door. Good. Sort off barrel. All right. Puzzles. Ah, go through a thing. That was the puzzle. You know, I'll say this of the early Source engine. This was that golden age in gaming when ragdolls were funny. This is when people just collapsed into the funniest poses, the most awkward way imaginable, and it was great. Why did I shoot the camera one? Oh, I've died. That's inconvenient. Am I allowed to try again? I am. What a novel concept. My skull. Okay, this is Gordon Freeman's new best friend. He's called Clarence. Um, and his character arc is that he sacrifices himself uh, to save Gordon Freeman. So good job, Clarence. We will remember you. And running. Oh no, I'm out of running juice. I know you're meant to break him with the crowbar, but crowbar feels like it's made of Play-Doh in this game. Ah, more vents. Living up to its uh, Half-Life heritage. I like that. Oh, who keeps dumping the explosive barrels here? Well, that was delightful and ultimately pointless. Ah, there's a valve. Excellent. This will make the water rise. Excellent. Back through here? Oh, it might be. There's more water than once there was. Now, why have I come back through here? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, it was because of the pipe on it and go through there now. It's good. Well, now I'm on the other side. Now we can progress. It was good of the Combine to design their city as a series of puzzle rooms. Makes navigation as difficult as possible in case people need to respond to threats. Oh, there's a blazing inferno and we have to evacuate the building. But first, we need to find out how to flood the basement and get the pallets to rise and all of this uh, okay uh let's let's have a bit of a drop that was a good drop i liked it excuse me excuse me sorry excuse me oof oh it's radioactive hey you're freeman aren't you what gave me away was it the orange power armor gordon freeman has returned, gordon freeman has returned. that's a sentence we'll never hear again the gun sounds in half-life 2 they weren't realistic because that's the whole thing with the source engine they were aiming for realism and it's nowhere near as satisfying as as the eardrum destroying noises of half-life 1 like what's that machine gun noise sounds like a children's drum solo on some sheet metal you all right all good he's fine